If Zoom is becoming sterile for you and you're not sure if your people are connecting, there's three things that are really important. It's about you, it's about them, and it's about your meeting. And so in my last video, I shared with you three things that you can do differently to help engage with your people through the lens, because we need to be able to connect with them in this virtual world really well. This second video today, I want to share with you about your people. And the distinction here is speaking into their listening. Because at the moment, you're speaking one language, but you actually need to be speaking four languages. Let me explain. A lot of leaders I work with speak the language of results. Where are we going and how fast are we going to get there? Even in stressful times like we're in at the moment or highly stressed times, we can want to get there faster. We've got things to fix and reasons to improve and reasons to do it quickly. And so a lot of leaders are coming from that results language. But what happens is when you're working with your people on, over Zoom or through a lens especially, if you're not speaking the other three languages, then you're missing the mark with them and they're disengaging, not listening to you. So one of the other languages you need to be speaking is the rules language. These people who speak this language are listening for the evidence and the proof that whatever you're saying is going to work. They're the ones that second guess or double check. They come early to meetings and they're the ones that are quite reserved and then they'll wait to give you their opinion. Another language you need to be speaking is the party language. And these are the people who want to show their face on screen all the time and wondering why these people aren't doing that. They want to know about your weekend. They want to have a preamble before we get into the business. And so these people might sometimes feel needy to you if you're a results person, but if you just give them a bit of um, time to connect with you, give some bit of banter and chat, that will help them move through and stay focused with you. The last language you need to be speaking is the peace language. And these people are you know, more reserved. They will think internally rather than express through them, through their words. They will not always want to show their face on screen. So they might hide behind the video off and they'll need some time to process. So if you at the meeting expect these people to be speaking up through the camera as well as on demand, they might not do that and they might not be ready or comfortable to do that. You need to give them space to go away and come back with their ideas. So if you do have a meeting and you want these people to be speaking up, make sure you give them time to prepare beforehand, maybe a day or two. Let them know what you're going to be talking about and what you expect from them at the meeting. And so if you're speaking results and you've got other people with you, you need to be able to speak into their listening and use different language. Ask questions that are tailored to their map of the world. Because here's the thing, like a racehorse with blinkers, we don't know that we're only speaking one language. And we don't know, when we don't know that, we can't always shift it. And as um, my friend James said, these are hardwired. We don't know that we're speaking party language. So if you can be aware of where your people are at, that will help you connect with them online. I hope this has been helpful and I'll talk to you soon.